you're for the moment. If there's someone else that's better and you're not trying to claim her, she's not going to be claiming you ever. Welcome, 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 guys. You are now locked into another episode of The Sensor Podcast, hosted by yours truly, me, Len Sophia. And yours too. Yes, hope everyone's having a good day. Another episode, another bit of shenanigans. Um, Yeah, hope everyone's liking it, listening, sharing. You know, show us some love always and every day. If it's the first time, go on to at the Sensor Podcast on Instagram. We have our link tree. Um, link i guess on um on the page where it just shows you all different listening platforms spotify and google um so yeah different social medias we have a couple of videos on youtube hopefully we should we should get that up and running sh- shortly by god's grace um yeah so like as you already know for those who listen often if it's your first time we like to give you a short little fun fact and a short video before we get to the nits and grits of life and what's going on so my fun fact of today is that penguins used to actually be six feet tall so they were never actually small they used to be six feet tall it's a bit scary though to think they're six foot tall penguins walking around now they're just little wobbly small things imagine Imagine going to a zoo and you see a six foot tall penguin they won't be as cute as as they are now they'll be very scary very but yeah that's my little fun fact of today quite interesting to be fair because i've never thought about it (laughs) Um, read it from last week's episode was what's one thing we all use but never clean and that was water it's weird but if you think about it it makes sense because yeah and then the reader for this week episode is going to be all right got a few options you walked into a room that contains a match a kerosene lamp a candle and a fireplace what would you like first the light of the room no no you walk into the room there's a match you walk into a room that contains a match, a kerosene lamp, a candle, and a fireplace. What would you like first? There you go. <laughs> but yeah, that's this reader for this week. You know what to do. Um, send in your answer if you think you know what it is, or participate in the little quiz I put up just before the episode comes out with the answers. But yeah. Yes, sir. How's your week been? How's your week been? Well, how's work. How's life? Well, this week. Everything. Granted, it's only like what Wednesday. Yeah. It's been. I felt. I felt a little bit different this week. Why? In what way? So Monday it was actually a decent day at work. It was. It was relatively busy, but nursing was gonna be busy regardless. I'm yeah. never gonna sit here and act like there's only gonna be a non-busy day. Mm. But you see, when you have those manageable busies where it's busy, but, you but it. exactly, you're still getting everything done. You're still leaving work on time. There's yeah. nothing that's outstanding type situation. Yeah. So it was that kind of day on Monday, even though it was short of stuff and all that. But you yeah, always short always. Stuff, the you? last last month and a half, just been short, short, short. And some days, right. like some days, it's like it's it's hard when it's short. I feel it. That's why the ward, this bedside nursing, is not for me. But <laughs> in due time, in it. Yeah. And then yesterday, I had this spurge of motivation. <laughs> motivation to go to the gym really and i was gonna go this morning actually but that same motivation didn't hit me <laughs> i was because obviously i was supposed to go to bed a little bit early yesterday so i can wake up early mm-hmm. and do an early session but i didn't go to bed as early as i wanted to yeah. and then when my alarm went off this morning i just thought so, nah. i just ah. fell back asleep um yes i didn't go this morning but i did yesterday i did a small session i did like a little session where I'm just getting my body back into the... You didn't go fully hard. No, no, no. Like, I was just... I did, like... I, I make sure I worked a little bit of everything, just so that my body warms if up to it anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, I did little leg warm-up. I did some... Like, I did a full body exercise. And mm-hmm. I just went... But nothing big. I didn't do no heavy weights. Yeah, I just yeah. did them ones where it was light. But my body was like, right, cool. So we're getting back into the gist of things. Fair enough. I thought my shoulders are killing me a little bit. Mm. But I know I'll probably go back it's again on Friday, so then I might just start lifting some weights again. Fair but enough. yeah, and then today's the day, and I'm going to work. It's a busy week, but I like it busy. Saves me from staying at home yeah, and doing so nothing. Out and yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Um, it's been alright. It's been alright. Just work. Yeah, nothing interesting to be honest. It was what it was. Get through the week, innit? It's 
been it's been fine to be honest. That was a sound up one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's been fine, like, there's nothing, like, apart from going away and having to sleep really badly, but apart from that, it was bearable. Like, all the activities were actually pretty cool. The only thing Where I did, did you go? Was, um, stop ups in somewhere in, like, random side or, like, just to bed. But it wasn't, like, the activities there were actually pretty cool. What was that for? Um, uni. Went for three days. Mm. Got there first. At first, he was, like, six people per room i was thinking just flip sick i just like deal with one person per room and then he was like okay we've got more rooms than expected everyone pick your own room i think okay cool i can get over sharing with one of the girls i'm pretty cool with got there now nah, yeah all the girls really wanted to stay together i'm thinking it's not by force it's actually not by force so i'm looking at the six i was like ah oh, please i don't want top i want bottom so we got in there now nah, i see the beds i just think jesus is lord what was the oh, beds looking like oh my god it wasn't a double bunk but it was triple it was top middle bottom and i was just thinking yeah this ain't going to work so i'm stood there looking at the girl that I'm, we knew we were going to room together look at each other like yeah this ain't gonna work and all the girls were like well i'll sleep on top um you guys can have the middle and the bottom i was like well i wanted the bottom but the bottom is like bottom like you i might as well sleep on the floor and then at this point yeah the girl was like okay let me try and go on top you could not sit up if you're going you have to because the wall it's, it's hard to explain like you literally have to go in and lie you can't sit up you can't yeah. do if you can't it's just so I, I said no so i just went to um lecture i was like uh sam can we get a new room please he was like all the rooms are taking the boys i said no 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 the boys cannot all have one room <laughs> exactly and, and then we, you have to share so we got a, we got lucky now we've got a double bot red so we were the only one that got lucky we got a double okay. bunk bed and had a room with a sink in it and stuff so we didn't really have to share too much yeah the other girls still got ones with six but they ended up being like two in each room now so we end up moving all the way to the end and stuff but i was just like this ain't it the mattress was toilet shut i felt like i was trapped and i was just like oh no i got these for three days we all tried to leave last night yeah but no one wanted to opt because technically we we're actually meant to be away for a week okay so it was like because he's giving us early to wednesday we're not going to try and take the piss and leave on tuesday evening instead because yeah. we didn't do anything this morning even the lecture was 10 minutes then he said email us so i was just like okay cool but apart from that, the activities we did were quite cool. Like, we did laser tag, which, like, I've done laser tag indoors, but the outdoor was actually so lit. It was, it was too good. We did laser tag, we did some indoor shooting range, did archery, which I was pretty good. That was quite a surprise. Mm. Um, did axe range, absolutely sucked. <laughs> then we did high ropes, which is like go apes for people that don't know, and that mm. was horrible. What? I did the top one, then got to the middle, so I'm not even bothered. I, I just knew I had to do one. Me and Go Ape kind of vibes don't get along. It's just not my vibe. It's just, no, I don't want to do it. I don't trust the harness, even though they said it's safe. I don't want to hear it. I'm not Says so the it. one that wants to do all this type of other things. I'm the just guy. Yeah, but that, just for can't that do, like, one, it's just, one I just can't do it. One little no, midi no, no. rope. Have you done Go Ape before? I've done something like that. I've never done Go Ape, but I've done, like, rope the, climbing the and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I can't. But it was weird because one was like, you did rock climbing. I said, those are different. Like, there's some kind of... But with this, it just wasn't happening. So I'm sitting there. We're all looking at each other. And he's like, are you going to do one? I said, I did the top one. Go ox. I, I, I went first on purpose because if I didn't go first, I was not going. Yeah. So I went first on purpose, did the top one, came back down. Everyone's chilling. And the night time, yeah, everyone started drinking. So I just said, yes, this is when everyone's character well, did they Did they bring the drinks or did they buy it then? Oh, so, we all, so dinner came here. Oh, my God, dinner was horrible. So I looked at the boys, boys was looked at me. it was like uh, mashed potato, sausages. Oh, black thing. bangers are mashed. Yeah, but it wasn't nice at all. So I'm sitting there like, I'm re- I really don't like sausages, like in general, like I'm mm-hmm. not a big fan. So I was like, oh, that's a problem already. She was like, you can have the nice sausages. I was like, okay, cool. So it's just mashed and veg. So the girls looking, looking at each other, looked at each other, was like, okay, so we go to Lakeside. We got mm. up, we drove to Lakeside, got food and came back. By the time we came back, everyone had gone to the shop and bought like, drinks came back now we all stood outside making games and stuff and like i was just chilling and then they had speakers and then boy looked at me he's like you brought your speakers like yeah why well, like this ain't it go get your speakers so we <laughs> stood outside so nice split we had like a social room and the outside yeah. so i'm sat outside with like just a few people we started playing music and all of a sudden everyone's come outside yeah. and it's just like oh, that night was too funny because the boys don't sleep <laughs> they were making noise we had one of the guys in our room for an hour Oh, what, you, what, your, you he and was the girl. in our room for an hour. So he was like, he came in talking to one of the girls I was sharing a room with. Was talking, 
I already turned my head because I was tired. I was over it. at 11 o'clock. I was in my bed. Everyone else was still outside till like one. So me and the girls in the room, we went into our room. Yeah, he's come in now. Yeah, he clung off his head. Bearing in mind, yeah, this guy, <laughs> this guy was not behaving the whole day. He's gone what off do his you mean head. not behaving? Well, he was just out here moving recklessly. He was touching up. Oh, I was like, oh, what, you're gonna, t- what touching you up or the me, other girls? With other girls and stuff. There was this other girl that literally everyone was trying to chat to one girl. And she thought, she's like, oh, I'm very open. <laughs> well, was she like, was she... But I said, God, she... forgive me, because me and... There's some guy called Brian. He's a Ghanaian guy. He listens to the podcast. He already knew. He was like, you're going to go talk about this. I said, yes. He was like... Shout out to Brian. He was, he was like, to me, yeah. He was like, oh, she said she feels overwhelmed. Me and Brian... Like, <laughs> was, it, was it a white girl? Yeah, it was too funny, man. It was actually too funny. So we're sitting there like, okay, cool. So this guy's not coming to our room now, yeah. At first, we could just hear him in the corridor. And then um, the girl sharing the room was like, he will come see what's this. So I put my head out. The minute I put my head out, he, he saw just, you. He started hurting. He came to our room now. He was in there for an hour. So I called Brian. And I was like, Brian, come get your boy. Like, we're tired. We just want to sleep. We have to be up for seven. Because showers are like free. Yeah. We have to all fight for showers. And then all go to well, breakfast for eight. The girls and the boys have to check. No, no, no. Oh. Separate showers. But oh. the boys were worse because they had... 14 boys we yeah. were all right because just six of us yeah and majority of them didn't shower in the morning whereas i was just like well thank god because there was space regardless so i was just like okay cool so he's coming in the room and i started talking talking mess and just and then all of a sudden he's about to take off his shoe and the guy's like why get are you taking off your shoe all of a sudden he climbs up the bed <laughs> this i was on the bottom he climbs up to the top bunk and she's like get off my bed what are you doing we're showering shouting he's dead right now i'm calling brian like come get your boy but i'm doing all this here but my body's not moving because usually i would have kicked him out but my body was just yeah. like i'm too tired i'm not getting out of this bed from no one so i just got to a point i said it's not my business anymore it's not disturbing me it's I not your bed isn't it? <laughs> i turned around basically so she's got our bed yeah taking him out of the room we're looking for this room we've knocked on everyone's door can't find this room can't find this room so we've knocked on our lecturer's door yeah at this point you're at this like, time this is like because bear in mind yeah the first time he's come out to tell us that we're making too much noise yeah so we're like okay cool he came out again so i looked at her and i looked at my room i said when is 11 o'clock we're going to the room so by the next time we come out we're not here mm-hmm. so 11 o'clock we left yeah so we've nothing was like, oh sorry left so now this boy has now come back into the room it's like oh just talking so much nonsense four an hours in the room couldn't find his roommate because his roommate was drunk and left him and went to bed so then, so then when you went to the lecture, what? We just apologised because we thought it was one of the three and he said, sorry, sorry, shut the door. Okay. Shut the door now, yeah? So it's like, okay, cool, cool. So now I'm falling asleep. She's still dealing with him, but outside the room now. So I was like, okay, quiet, okay, I'm not getting out of this bed. No one's getting me out. I'm falling asleep now, yeah? And then all of a sudden, we just hear a lecture come out. Ah, it's just time for you to go to bed. Duh, duh, duh. We thought it was being serious. Like, he came out of Vim, like, what turning the, the boy off. Yeah, t- and then all of a sudden, he just hugs him and started laughing. And he has no choice but to laugh. I'm thinking, what kind of man is this? Now everyone's laughing. And we're all just there. And then apparently after that, he's come out of the room. And after that, he's tried to get in bed with our lecturer to sleep. Because <laughs> he couldn't find his room. So man was just, yeah. yeah. He was just out here, moving mad. And then was thinking, and then it got to a point, he just stood against the wall and said, like, I'm asthmatic. The boy's not asthmatic. <laughs> So I'm sitting there with my door open watching this whole thing play out and I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is going to be hell. When people start drinking, it's actually the and worst. Then I was just like, we couldn't find his room or his roommate. That's what made it worse. And his like, roommate could not give a damn. His, his roommate, roommate was, was done out of his head as well. His we couldn't find him or his roommate. Time. And he was just there. He was there till about 2, 3 a.m., but I was asleep at the time because we kicked him out and I locked the door. I said, no, nah, I'm not doing it. Locked the door. So he was just outside. I was just outside. He was, <gasps> you, should just, you should have just let him sleep on the... No, we put him on one of the boys that had the spare bottom bed to oh, go okay, sleep there. Like, okay, we couldn't, okay. we genuinely couldn't find his room. Like, it made no sense. And then we're all sitting there like... Okay, but did you not knock on a room where no one answered? on everyone's room. Yeah, but was there not a room that no one answered? Because with the bottom beds, you can't see people. And I'm not about to turn on like people are sleeping in. So we, oh, we knocked well, so the on doors are unlocked. Yeah, the doors are unlocked. Knocked open. Every single door is unlocked. Every single door is unlocked. So um, well, you just said you locked your door. Yeah, we can lock it from the inside for getting changed, but every single door was unlocked. You're not oh, meant to unless you're getting changed, innit? Okay. So every single door was unlocked. No, if I'm sleeping, I'm locking that door, bro. You're not meant to apparently. How the flip is that if I had said someone could just come in my room and God forbid? We're knocking up and knocking. We're opening open doors. We just couldn't. It's only until we're leaving today that I find this room. Yesterday they didn't see it either because yesterday they walked into the pub. I was like, there's this guy Again. called Amin. He doesn't drink or do anything. So we felt bad. So we said, we're going to stay in and play like card games with him. 
and then we just played card games. He doesn't drink, doesn't socialize with like the pubs yeah, and, and doesn't I smoke. Him. He just had I a head time. I wouldn't have gone to the pub ever. And he goes to pub. I would have been there as well, chilling. We all sat down, me, my roommate, and I mean, and even Lecture, I didn't go out with them. He's like, I don't have time for it. So he played games with us. So it was like, okay, cool. And then the you know, boys, sometimes you forget these are grown No, nah, they're, they're all over 21. I don't understand. It's you, so you forget 21. that it's yeah, grown people and they can go out and drink yeah. it, innit? And then we like, bedtime, it's like, the guy was like, I wish someone told me it's bedtime. My mum doesn't even tell me it's bedtime. So, oh. And then the white man says, no, nah, it was too funny. Like, I'm not going to lie. I actually crapped up that night. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. And then, like, we stayed in. And then the boys, two of the boys went out, but they didn't go out for that long. So they came back, they're all chilling in our room. Like, everyone just, our room was the spot. So they're all chilling in our room, chilling in our room. It was like, oh, everyone's just talking, talking. And then people started getting parried in it because we're talking about last night and how people were behaving when they started drinking. So because we're talking about last night, the guy was like, open the door. I was like, I promise you, when all this lot come in, you will hear them. You don't need to open the door. You will hear them. What do you mean open the door? Like, because, so there was like three, there was five of us in my room. And we're talking about what happened the last night from the first night. Mm Mm-hmm. Whereas everyone else were at the pub. So he thought the people would come in. I was like, I promise you, you don't need to keep opening the door. When they come in, you'll hear them. Because the people that <sighs> be went bare loud, with, isn't it? Oh, So they come in now, yeah. So we've come in and apparently the boys wanted to have a play fight. So they told them, <laughs> they told them, they told them, he was like, oh, what room? Room nine. Room nine was our room. So guess what room they come knocking in when they're finished? Yeah. Our room. They come banging the door. With my head, I just turned around and put my dick I said, you look mad. I turned around and put my... I said, the room you're looking for is number seven right there. Must have play fight. What play fight are you going to have? Excuse me. They did that on purpose because they gave them our room number. And then the boys was like, no, that's the girls. Just like, no, 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 that's our room. So come that time, they came to knock on our room. And I was thinking, you are about to piss me off. So they came to knock on our room and I was like, okay, cool. I turned around. You could just hear all of them running. (laughs) This is 2 a.m. by the way. I was asleep by 11. Wait, okay, so hold on. So wait, hold on. So you see where you were staying? Was it just you guys staying there? Yeah, just us. Okay, So fine, we had fine, a whole fine. residential for just us. Okay, fine. So it's not like no, no, it was other people there. Just You're us. making noise. In no, the no, no. Okay, fine. There was kids, but they were in the tent outside. Fine, fine, the whole fine, residential fine, was just us fine, with the social area. Cool, cool, literally cool, just cool, us. Cool, cool. So they're coming and running, running, making noise, making noise. I heard the first part. My roommate was like, you didn't hear where apparently one of the guys tried to get one of the girls' bed because he couldn't find his room, sleep. He ended up staying in the Girls so no one, what, how can you not find your room, and bro? Like, okay, cool, whatever. I was is like, it, is it, is it like a on. maze to get to your room? You, have to, you, have, to com- you have to accomplish like, a maze and then you get to the room. <laughs> Imagine, isn't it? The That's what it sounds like, like. The rooms are like, there's rooms all here, but then there's like corners. The the boys that the boys that couldn't find the rooms were the corners ones, mm. and like with the corners they're quite techy, but it's all one floor, so you can mm. literally hear everyone. So the girls are like, okay, cool, no one. What I heard was when someone knocked on the door, I heard when they all came in and I heard when Sam came out, he told them off seriously this time. Because when he told them off, all I heard was silence and walked to the room. I said, yes. I said, yes. And I turned around and went back to bed. That bed was not comfortable because the person on top, when she moved, I wake up. Because it's not a proper mattress. He was just making bare Mm. noise and stuff. I was a bit uncomfortable. So I was just like, okay, cool. He sent them to bed. You just hear quiet. Like, I think everyone saw it. He was pissed. Everyone realised like, it. Guys, you got to respect it. Not everyone went out tonight. People are sleeping already. And that was only us. There was only five of us that didn't go out. Everyone else went out. People are sleeping already. Da, da, da. So, uh, yeah, like, but yeah, exactly. At two, like, three o'clock in the morning. Whoa. Come on, bro. They didn't make breakfast this morning. Of Not course they didn't. Of course. They woke up with a headache. Everyone was just like, me, I've got to how people. You know, I never understood how people can just go drinking. and Especially. You have a night. You've drunk. You woke up. By that same you the same day you go and do it again. Oh, I don't so understand how people do bro, that. So you know they were drinking so much that like, even like it came to I'm not gonna say their names yet, but one of the boys So there was the girl that I said like was saying, Oh, she feels overwhelmed because she's getting thin. So we're talking to her now. So she's sitting between me and one of was the guys pool. <laughs> she get she had a full feet beat face every day. Okay. Like full beat face every okay. single day. Okay. Like it came to a point, me and the girl in our room came out and she's like she got a full beat. We just come out the shower. Has she done a full beat? <laughs> no, it was too funny. So we're sitting there, yeah. And then she's talking, wherever, wherever. So, like, one of the guys is talking to her. And then she's like, she don't know how to feel about that because they went in uni together. They all went in Greenwich. And it was like, after three, four years, you're only just talking to me and telling me things. So I don't know how I feel about mm. that. Maybe it's the alcohol mm-hmm. talking. Most likely. Yeah, and then he was like, okay, cool. But then there was the other guy feeling her. And the other guy. So we're sitting talking to her. And the other guy's DMing her. And when the guy said, that's moist. How you... 
He's DMing her about the other guy. Like kids, bro. That's why I said that's the one grown people. What are you not doing? He said, I was like, if you really want to chat to her, come be like, can I spoil you? This is but coming then, like some love then. island. Can I take you out? So can I take you That's for what it looked like. We were, out, we were sitting out there commentating. Like, oh, she's on to the next chat. The next chat we were commentating. It was the funniest thing ever. So then we were talking to her, but then there was some other guy that was actually, she had like three or four people on her. I'm not going to lie. So there was some other guy actually sitting here. And he was just trying to get himself involved. But she had a history with him. But it wasn't a history. Just had a drunk man kiss with him. But ever mm-hmm. since then, he was like, oh, he wish he put change. But she was like, don't. Yeah, like, as a like young girl, it was just a drunk yeah, man kiss. Like, she didn't read into it, yeah. whatever. But ever since then, he's been... So he's sitting there, sitting there now, yeah. He's trying to get involved in the conversation. Obviously, she's filling us in. We, we were like the cool kids that everyone wanted to talk to. Mm-hmm. So she's feeling us in. She's sitting between us and stuff. And then she flips the fence. She's like, guys, look at the message. This is actually love by So we're just looking, we're looking. It's the funniest thing ever. And then to make it worse, the guy that DM'd her fucked up because the rooms you can hear everything everyone's saying you can yeah. so she's in the bathroom now getting ready with one of a friend that she went uni with and then he's like oh i'm upset that her friend's got a boyfriend that's why i did it so she felt pissed because oh so she so he's only moving to her because so the, the the he's her friend's day, she's like feels like a second <gasps> best well sorry miss <laughs> no it but gets like that is, isn't it? no it, that's fine but you know he was quite I'm disrespectful gonna... about it as well and he was like oh um I can get that if I want to talk to him. And I said to her, I was like, here's the thing. It's boys chat. He's no, it's, talking no to his but boys. if you're being but honest, being if he, if he well. didn't, yeah, but if he didn't say that, he'll probably still get her. No, because he was already, he was the one that DM, so everyone already thought it was moist. Mm. Everyone already thought it was moist because mm. you were out here. She's sitting right there. Yeah. You're sitting across her, like less than two seconds. If you talk, tapped, you could have tapped her, but you're out here DMing her while she's right in front of you. And it's like, what can you be talk like? And then, and then he's there, like, and then the other day I was just saying, they're like, so the next morning they all came, he's like, oh, he did it. I was saying, they're like, oh, is it? You shouldn't do that, man. You shouldn't do that. You know better. Oh, da, da, da. But then, like, we're too funny. Like, it was just, it got to a point where I was like, if this was five now, I wouldn't cope because it'd be too much after a while. Yeah. Like, even like, because you'll probably go drink it yeah, every night. I was like, from the first night, I was over it. The second night, I didn't go, I was sleeping by 10 the second night. Like, I was tired. I was like, and then you got coming, making noise. I was like, if this was a week, and it was meant to be, the two options were, we were meant to go Wales, or we were meant to go South France, but mm. obviously we couldn't go because of COVID and stuff. And I was like, if we actually, you, I would have actually cast up one of you at like this point, because I would, five days straight in a row, and this is what you're going to do, and they don't stop. Like, you wake up thinking everyone's having their hand up. You have the same energy they went to bed as what they wake up with. <laughs> and I'm thinking, mm-hmm. the same because energy. Because they, they no, used to that, much. that's what it they was do. Too I, much. Don't know. I couldn't, it was too much. But the first night, I said say that was fun. The second night, I just like, I'm not doing it with them. Like, they're coming back on the road. I'm hearing that in the middle of the road, they're doing cartwheels and stuff, and they're holding traffic, causing yeah, chaos. Yeah, I'm yeah. Thinking. The manager had to call our lecturer to be like, we're making too much noise. No, I, but I find it, do. yeah, I find it, so, after a while, I find it very annoying. People are just drunk and just can't yeah. hold themselves. They're just stupid. And I was like, you are not shit. maintaining your drink as well. You're just misbehaving and stuff. I was like, oh, no, this ain't it. So one of the guys said he had a main, but not official, his girlfriend. This is leading me to a question. So he came and he was like, he had a main, but not So when he's talking, I'll be like, your girl is like, she's not my girl. <laughs> I was like, but she's in that direction. You're not telling me, you said you're not talking to anyone. She's got, so why do you get, you sound offended. You, yeah, you sound offended when I say your girl. Like, yeah, my girl. So then I flipped her, I said, what if she dis- she told you, People, you're not man. You feel some type of way. You say, yeah, of course. I said, I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing this with you. This then needs me to go. Would you speak to the person you're talking to? Like, obviously, you've been talking for a very long time, but you're leading in that direction. In terms of what would you say to people asking? Like, what are you? This is someone he's been speaking to for like almost two years. Like they're both not speaking, exclusively um, dating, but he's not trying to even say it. Like, but wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we, you're telling me we've been speaking for two years and there's no like confirmation yeah. that we're together. Then I'm gonna say that's not my man. <laughs> they're telling me after yeah, two there's years, no, like there's no boyfriend girlfriend how, but apparently they both know that they're working. They're taking it slow and working towards That's, that direction. I'm, I'm be like, oh yeah, there's a guy that I've I've been chatting to and taking it slow. I wouldn't if if there's been no confirmation between it, like between yeah, each other that I'm way. That is, way, would you talk about it? Like, even the, I said to him, I'm not, even though I said she's your girl, doesn't mean she's your girlfriend because at the end of the day, she's the main one you're speaking yeah. to. Like that's you're not. T- it's different if you're speaking to other people. You're saying 
you've cut everyone out and that's the main one like that's your focus but then why is he so, why is he it so, was so if you saw the way it, it could punch me if you could <laughs> he was so offended I was thinking come on like he just cussed his mum or something can you imagine so I was like why are you offended and I, and I and I like to wind him up it was too funny so I did it all the time as well and he was like nah no, she's not my girl I'm like, but she's going towards that direction and I was like maybe, maybe he's just trying to keep his options open but he's not keeping up because I said to him what if she if someone asked him and said or asked her and said and she said no, that's not my man. Cause yeah, no, cause if I'm if let's say if I'm trying like, if I'm chatting to someone, I said, do you have a girl? And he's like, no. But I'm speaking to someone. Mm-hmm. We're all speaking to someone. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's maybe that's, that's that's maybe him just keeping his options open because yeah, but if you know, if 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 you're saying even though that's that's might be the person he's only talking to, but that's because that's the only person he can talk to at the moment. This is someone I'm sure if someone to trying to ask to be his girlfriend. Like, yeah, within, yeah, within. but if yeah, but after two years, you're still telling me. We're just talking, or oh, that's not my goal. Then he's trying I don't know to how keep his... talking. I was just giving you the two okay. year scenario. No, he's he's definitely keeping his options up. If I'm if I'm speaking to I someone, if I if offended. I wanted if I didn't want to, like, let anyone in, I'll say yeah, that's uh, that's a guy I'm serious with. I might say that I might not say that's my boyfriend, but like yeah, we're serious. Mm-hmm. But if I'm saying no, I don't have a man. It's just a guy I'm talking to. I'm keeping my options. up. He say no, and I was just thinking. Yeah, he's keeping what, his options what got open. Me was, You'd be offended if she said no, but you. you yes, are but men are always yes. offended if the girls does what they do. Like men will go do something, and as soon as you flip it, as soon as you flip and you ask, what if she did the same thing? Nah, she could never. She could never do that to me. Boy, you if you it. don't come out this little bubble you're living in, because you have to understand what you do unto others, others will do it unto you, you as well. Yeah. You're just not. You're not protected just because you're doing this doesn't mean she's not going to do it. Mm. Of course, the same way she probably might not be talking to anyone else. But she's not like against it. Yeah. You're just who she's talking to at the moment. <laughs> you're for the moment. If there's someone else that's better and you're not trying to claim her, she's not gonna be claiming you ever. I'm saying it's for the moment. No, I just find it funny. I find it Because if he's that of- offended by you saying that's his girl, yeah, that's like, not. He's not like, serious I was about like, it. So what do you want me to call it then? He's not serious. Like, I don't have a go in it. Yeah, yeah he's not serious. He's not serious. He's just keeping but his he's options open. He's claiming he's serious. To he's the, not the, serious. Like, okay. Yeah, he might be at the moment. Like I said, in the moment, he's that's the only girl he's talking to. They're having a nice conversation. Everything's going well. So in the moment, he's he's enjoying it. He's serious about this. Yeah. But I'm telling you, if something. If he keeps calling out that oh, that's not my girl, that's not my girl, and someone comes that he likes and has that little bit more, he, this girl's getting left. She's getting left just as qu- just as quickly as he got her. No, that's because if you're just shouting, shouting, that's not my girl, with Vim, mm. yeah, there's no hope. There's no, no hope. No, no, no. Like, no. Nah. And if, if my man's shouting, I'm not his girl with Vim, okay. <laughs> you told me that loud and clear then. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess I'm not, you're not my man either. It is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I would, I wouldn't claim. Until we've sat down and be like. Yeah, but is there a discussion you would have as well? Like, it'd be like it's not, I feel like it wouldn't be a discussion like, oh, not what, a discussion, are we together? Not, it's not a discussion of what are we, but it's a thing. Yeah. I feel like to a certain stage, like if it's been a year I'd or put, two. I'd put, yeah, I'd put in, I'd put it like jokingly. Like it'd be like, let's say we're talking about something that's like, it's not like you're my man. No, but type I situation get... then people are like yeah don't do that and then that's when you know <laughs> no I get that but some, 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 some people are idiot but I get that but in terms of like um, this is not I'm not saying like be talking for a month and then be like what are we I'm talking no, about yeah, someone you've been talking no, to after, for a while no, after, if it's a while and yeah. you've been done things and yeah, gone yeah, yeah. done this and it's bro if you come and turn around and tell me that this is we're not anything mm-hmm. okay cool don't worry no but it's a discussion I'm saying it's a discussion that you both have especially like okay cool it has to be because because I could because in this day and age just because you've been doing it for two years yeah that's what I'm saying because I was going to say like (laughs) people are like uh, yeah let's take it slow there's no rush for relationship we could be talking for years just because I just want to know like how you because that's the scary part because I don't know how you're claiming me outside that's what I'm saying just because you've been talking for two years you've been dating for two years you've done everything that person will be doing in a relationship for two years that does not mean I'm sorry in this day and age, especially the way people's mentality does not mean you guys in the relationships. So I could be here assuming mm-hmm. it's these assumptions. Men don't like assumptions. Yeah, this what I'm saying. So you're yeah. out here, out here assuming that we're in a relationship. I'm telling everyone I got a man. <laughs> but how <laughs> soon is now. too soon to ask? It, it just depends how you feel. Mm-hmm. It depends how you feel. If after let's say I'm a person, this is an example. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a person that falls quite quickly. Mm-hmm. So like 
everything is going well like the first two three months we've been dating everything's going so well and it's like i want to try and take this a little bit more serious like i want to ask the question is not maybe what are we what where are we going, going yeah, yeah. i can ask within the three months mm-hmm. if you if you don't think that you want to take it there it's easier for me to know now than for That's me to know two down years down the line because yeah, like, yeah. imagine two years down the line and then yeah. i finally have this conversation of okay so where are we going is like i don't want to go anywhere like i'm just enjoying your company hello <laughs> it's been two years <laughs> what do you mean you want to enjoy yeah, yeah. company so you, you want company i can get i can yeah, give you company give but all this yeah. time i've spent i've spent more for than just company type situations so that conversation can be had any time and yeah. it's not in a sense where I'm asking you because I want to tie you it's down. Just so we both know where we stand because what's the point? Just so that yeah. maybe, okay, cool, maybe it's a, it's a, may, maybe I'm feeling the same way you're feeling. Yeah. Maybe I'm asking, exactly, maybe I'm just asking because I want to say maybe I'm not ready yeah. for anything yeah. and I don't want you to think that we're leading into a relationship when mm-hmm. I'm, that's not what I want to do mm-hmm. and it's, it's to put, just put the foundation on for both of us and then yeah. you can tell me what you feel and I can tell you what I feel if I'm if I'm telling you I'm falling in love and you're like whoa hold on then I know I can't call this is not it I can move out I can move out the situation before I get my heart broken or vice versa he's falling in love I'm just like nah I don't I don't I don't want none of that and then he can leave before he gets his heart broken rather than us going along yeah. with the quote-unquote the flow and then and so one of us is going to be broke up at the end of the situation after two years you then tell me oh no no stop it i could never let myself get to that situation anyway i could never get myself get into two years and there's no like no, i want to say la- i want to say, I wanna say, I wanna say label but there's some no kind of clarity exactly yeah some kind it, of clarity yeah. you're telling me there's no clarification yeah, in the situation kind of clarity. you're telling me i'm still second guessing or making yeah. assumption of what Especially we are two years two years no that's too much that's too much I time girlfriend What's, what's, what am I clarity in that two years? I should be clarity in that one year. <laughs> I should be clarity in this first... It's like, it's, I'm not forcing, I'm not saying let's get married. But I just... I like, just want... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some, so I know I'm not wasting some my people time. Some like, why are you asking at such early stage? It's not about asking at early stage. If you're here to be, let me give you... Let me tell you if I'm here for that or not. Exactly. Let me tell you if I just want company. I, can, I want to be copped. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to be copped at night... <laughs> Oh, if I want somebody warm, do you know what I mean? But that's it, it's it's that simple. I've said it before. Like it's yeah, that simple. Facts. And sometimes that question of what are we is not to tie you down. It's just it's to literally so, yeah. know what because are there's we. There's no point in me being like, okay, I think we're this because now I'm thinking for you and me. Ah, and it makes that's dangerous. Now I'm in a sp- and that, so now imagine imagine hit. if we're doing that. We're like we're going well. We're enjoying us, but and sometimes it's just enjoyment. But yeah, we're enjoying yeah, well. Well, well, and I'm like, you know what? I think this guy is serious. I think we're actually going somewhere. Just, just for him not to be serious. Just for him to be like, no, I was just enjoying it. <laughs> exactly. As and in you the can moments. exactly. And you can enjoy the moment. But yeah. let's both know that that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because now maybe I'm here catching feelings with you, yeah. and I don't even know if where. That's the case. I can decide if I'm going to put my feelings in the situation or. Well, we're it. just going to continue enjoying yeah. the moment. And I'll go and find someone else to enjoy the moment as well. We can all enjoy be- many mm-hmm. moments in life. There's not just one moment yeah. to enjoy. <laughs> Let's enjoy three, four, five different moments. Oh God, the diff- hurt no one. Exactly, because guess what? We're not. This that's that's a, that's a conversation we have. We've had the conversation of what we are. We're nothing. Fine. Really? Let me go find nothing somewhere else as well. No, you know, one, two, two or three is more than is better than one. Cause that one can always, can be busy. So when he's busy, there's always someone else. So let me know from the jump. No, it's true though. But he was like, I was speaking to because they had really interesting. Things I was just thinking, you lot of chat bears, but go ahead. He was like, <laughs> Entertainment. he knows, yeah, he was like, he knows when he's going to wife a girl before he even moves to her. 100%. He was like, if I'm moving to her, I know I'm going to wife her. 100%. Some of them are moving just to. 100%. And I, I think... thought, that's a bit mad. Like, imagine you're putting all your, this comes back, we've spoken about this before, like, in terms of girls need to stop showing interest to what they want as well rather than exactly, accepting, accepting what's given because i'm thinking you're coming to tell me you're telling me you're looking at me just for this not even to wife but then someone else is looking at me to wife but i'm only picking you because Exa- no that's what's it's it's accessible and i've and i've like there was a twitter thread that said that um men end up actually men actually choose their partner and mm-hmm. a lot of people say no women do mm-hmm. but i was thinking i feel like men do because men are the ones that are putting themselves yes, forward yes, the men are the ones yeah. that are moving to what they like what they want as well I'm exactly like whereas yeah. with women we, we exactly we sit there and we, we accept who's coming to us. us and if he meets some of our like likes and demands then yeah. we take him on yeah. he, he, there could be someone else that if we had gone to, to probably be the 
best person that's fit to us but because we have been chosen by this young gentleman by this good looking guy who seems to have his life in like, in shape like the thing that you you're looking for maybe to not the extent that you want but to somewhat extent we we're settling and i feel like because the person i said it was actually a guy that ended up saying that men choose and i do believe men choose I feel like um yeah they do yeah. They, the choose, they, they choose they choose who to to they choose who they want to marry they choose who they want to have yeah. a girlfriend for the time yeah. they choose who they want to have sex with they choose, they choose their obviously it's with these situations we can say yes or no yeah, that's fine but, but they've still chosen they chose exactly you didn't, the yes or no just because they came to you exactly they come to you, who you saying yes exactly. or no because it's like um the thing of um the thing of like um you know when you 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 we're just here for if we're here to entertain you exactly. or not, which is a yes exactly. or no. That's the thing. No. If we if we then want to in, you, to entertain the situation, okay, cool, let's entertain it. And if and sometimes you don't even want it too tough, but you entertain mm. it and you end up catching like, feelings because yeah. it's a nice situation. Yeah, it's, it's a comfortable where, it's situation. It's not something you want, but it's a thing where it's a comfortable this is what's situation. Me at the situation. Exactly. I'm, I'm happy I'm, with it for now. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm enjoying option. myself. Let me, let me take but it. But the thing is, there's always what's options. Like we said last episode we just not move into the options that we want, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. it's, it's, it'll be easier for us to like, find down the men yeah, that we want or don't want. Because if, if, if it, every day you get the same guys um, moving, moving to you, you but it's like you get you, you can still pick the ones that you, you want. want. Yeah. But then We're even then you just got to think about it as well. Like If you start picking, maybe the ones you go to will just, just get to come to you as well. Exactly. Because the ones that come to you, they don't have no shame. They come to you that's, in full view. That's what I'm saying. Some, some guys just don't move to you because maybe they're thinking oh she's probably in a yeah. relationship or she probably only, she probably won't even like me mm. what times is that you're that's the one who I want, want. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't want to move to you so that's maybe that's when you should leave that stigma of only men and if women start you should have been moving to people on Saturday then if that's the case don't do that <laughs> don't do that to her don't do that because I can call up Joe right now yeah, and ask him Whoa. <laughs> he was sitting there after he tried after he went and told you he was single he even, <laughs> inter- he even told them what you look like <laughs> Joe was an idiot <laughs> so don't do that so you you had the opportunity you didn't take no opportunity to do what? to move to the guy you, you found attractive and say what I don't it's just weird like. I'm a bit of blow I, I found you attractive isn't it it's simple. When guys come to you, what do they do? I find you attractive. <laughs> it's that easy. Mm-hmm. It's that easy, bro. It's, it's one, two, three. We're just counting backwards and making it difficult for ourselves. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> clearly at this point. Just making it difficult. And if it, and if you just if, if it's another wash man, that's it. What's what what harm did you cause yourself by trying? There's no harm. But then sometimes when you talk to them, you realize this guy has no sense. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't waste my time. <laughs> Just looking for no reason. No, no, there's no sense in his head. I'm not laughing. But it's that simple. But we, we like that. We like, we like it hard. We're making we? progress slowly but surely. Slowly. <laughs> slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <sighs> let me laugh because. <laughs> right. Because it's not me now. It's not me. <laughs> We're making progress slowly but sure. <laughs> the pride, oh my gosh. Let's not laugh. No. Because you know, last week, if someone saw a chat, yeah, we'd actually be mad. No, when they say men have too much pride, when it comes to like females taking initiative, I guess it's to understand we have been wired to believe we're not that meant to. we're not meant to. We have been wired to believe that it's the man's job to come to you. We have been wired to believe that you just take a step back and mm-hmm. just wait. Yeah, so when true. it's when it's us trying to get rid of this idea and trying to let you go against the norm there's it's still so pride weird. in there <laughs> no there's more than pride it's weird it's like you feel like, then it's like when you don't go the way you're meant to go like, i should have just stayed in my lane like who actually I'm sent not, me job honestly, who you, told me to go there because no, i could have just no. sat there and, went and just you left myself sent me job because no one sent me no what one. was i looking for no one sent me no one called me for there. what for what reason no, no one called nah, me so it is not is there's, there's pride i don't understand the courage it takes as well <laughs> Jesus, I have to talk myself into it. Wait. I have to ask your best friend to see what you listen. Say. Yeah, I talk myself into it. Talk myself out yeah. of it. Go and have a conversation with someone. Okay, cool. Nah, talk yourself out of it. Again. Then... <laughs> Okay, let's break this down. No, I like, talked myself into it. Like, no, okay, you know cool. what I'm doing. Wait, wait, wait. I took myself out of it. Okay, cool. So now we t- we both talk about it now. Okay, cool. Then we both talk ourselves out of it now. So now we're back to square one because no one's making progress. <laughs> because now we're just going back. Because <laughs> yeah, then, 
literally, yeah, no, nah, literally. No, nah, it's true. You go in there with so much vim, like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to chat to this guy. Now, why am I, why am why I doing I, it? Why, why am I doing it? Oh, oh, saucy me. <laughs> Put myself out there, me. like I have no shame. But you know what? What? What's, what's, what am I gonna lose? Then you take yourself. What am I gonna lose? There's the fucking lose. Then you go back and forth, back and forth. Then if you do, you do. If you, you don't, don't, you don't. We move. We'll find another one. Oh, Maybe gosh. by that time the other one comes, you have the courage. We won't think about it too much. We just walk straight up to it. <laughs> Look at and that line. I'm, I'm walking that line right now. <laughs> But nah, oh, man, too funny. I, I, can't. I wonder if men have, have this type of situation. I feel like because they're so used to it. Of having to move. Yeah, they don't really... If they think, oh, you're nice, I'm going to move to you, they're just going to do it and not think twice about it. And no, I feel like we should everyone, have this conversation. Nah, they, no, they honestly, will get up and think story. twice about it. We, we, whereas with us, we'll, make, we'll try and make things like silly conversation or oh uh, i'm sorry i didn't see you there <laughs> excuse me i didn't mean to bump into you I d- I didn't mean he to said just squirping his <laughs> arm <laughs> <laughs> we do things that men don't read into like we yeah, do things so they don't read into that we yeah. want them to read into whereas they'll just get up and be like i'm going exactly. to go sit there and move to her and maybe and we should just start getting up as well and do what and move into the guy please 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 let's not start, start selling ourselves dreams we say this now and we won't do it. We go, we go be in another situation that we'll just sit there. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. We, we appreciate it from far. But appreciate it from far is not going to get you married, is it? No, don't worry. When God says so. When God says so. Oh, That's this sad. world that we live in. Oh, my gosh. No, too much. But we can't, be, well, we can't really blame us. We've been conditioned to this, so give us some lot, time to uncondition yeah, ourselves, well, if that's caring, the name. You know? They're not caring. They like you. They're like, oh, I like you, by the way. I like you, too. Okay, cool. What are we doing about it? The younger lot not caring. We ask and you. They have no shame. Would you rather be able to speak every language or understand animals or, like, speak to animals? Speak every language. Really? Yeah. You would want to speak to animals? I don't animals. care for animals. What do I want to know? Ta. Nah. Two language. Nah, I would speak. Imagine, yeah. like, imagine, imagine speaking to animals. Just imagine, imagine you have a bug in your room, yeah, like me. I have a fear of spiders. I can say that. I can openly chest say that, yeah. Imagine the spider in my room. And I'd be like, bro, I can't lie to you. Time for you to go. I don't like you. I respect it. It's called outside, but you need to go find somewhere else. And the brother's like, oh, you know what? I'm just chilling for a second. Innit? I'm not. I'd be like. Are you, you, you go, you go, you, you go back me. You, She's you go. talking about spider, bro. You know what? <laughs> no, but like, what, 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 what are we about to do here? Like, you don't have a feel of you, but like, I'm not gonna do anything to you. That's why, you, do you know what I mean? And imagine you're here, you can talk to your dog, your cat, bro. The power you'd have to be talking to animals. I heard that. That's it. I heard that. I heard that. I'm not I don't care it. to talk for humans. I don't <laughs> care to talk for humans. I just speak. Language Imagine is the lit. power. Yeah, of of course. Language yeah, is language lit. is lit. Being able to speak language to be I able really to communicate with anyone, ASL. everyone, is lit. Of yeah. course. But you can you can still learn. I can go out. I, I, to be honest, you have to yeah, you speak learn, fluently. I, get what you mean. I can learn and have a like small conversation, conversation with you in fifteen. I know people that can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Especially yeah, yeah. Latin language, French, Spanish, yeah, yeah, yeah. English, like some like a lot of the Eastern European language. A lot of these languages are it's very similar. similar. They all yeah. come from the Latin, Even like some Latin, guy Latin from, um, descent. Was teaching about um, Russian numbers, and it was quite the same that's as French. It, that's, and yeah, because it's all thank you. It's all well, Latin. Well. It's all Latin descent. So the language are all yeah. very, very familiar. So it's like if I'm to learn languages, I could probably learn a couple more languages and talk to a couple more people. Mm. Imagine being able to talk, and understand of animals. Imagine if I can talk to my dog. She can just tell me what she wants, and I have to. I don't have to guess. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes. Here's some food. You wanna go for a walk? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine being able to talk to animals, though. Nah, hey. The power you would have. Anyone can talk to anyone, but talking to animals, I feel like, nah, that's mad. That's mad. And there's a there's like a, a bug in your house. You can tell the bug, please, not in this house. And, you, like, you, you, show you have two options. I don't want to look for you. <laughs> please show yourself. And you just let me open coming. the window for you. <laughs> just show, come to the window, let me open it for you, and can, so I don't have to kill you. Just that's no, that's that's a powerful thing to have, be able to speak. So that I was, when I saw that, I was like, no, nah, speak to animals for sure. For sure. That would that I would rather speak to animals. That's that's power in its own. And maybe that's just me. Maybe obviously the power of speaking to everyone in every in every language is, is great as well. You yeah. can do a lot, you can probably you can stuff do a business lot, or something. Yeah. But nah, I just I see where you're coming from with the animal one because it hits different. It's not the yeah, same. Because yeah, like, you can talk different. to human, you can't talk to animals. Yeah, like, you can to somewhat there's different ways, even if you don't understand languages. 
everyone's language, there's always a way to communicate. To communicate, exactly. Yeah. Always Whereas with animals, you, you can't, have to guess. You can't, exactly. You have Obviously, to some guessing. animals will show you, but then it's like training them to show us, and it's not just like that. And just, no, can you imagine? But speaking of talking animals, yeah, don't you, have, you know, I fear parrots. Why? Parrots are very smart. I used to have one. I've, like, they can speak. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, we just sit here and look at animals, yeah? Mm. And we think it's okay. Parrots can speak. Yeah. I saw a video of a parrot speaking Spanish. <laughs> My man was speaking Spanish. And sometimes you think, are they just repeating us? Or are they um actually speaking? Some but sometimes... Speak yeah, but exactly. Yeah. But, but sometimes they'll have a conversation and they'll yeah, say yeah, things... Yeah, yeah. That correlate to the situation. situation They're not yeah. just saying like pretty yes, poly, pretty poly, pretty yeah. poly. Okay, they can say that, but some parrots will literally have a conversation with you and to sit there and think, this is not. Why is this normal? Yeah, why have we normalized this? With a parrot. We're just how there have having a conversation. How have we normalized parrots speaking? How have we even understood that there's p- birds can fly? <laughs> like they're flying. Mm. Like, how like. Animals, some I feel like it's just a superpower that we just don't have. We actually we have to pay to fly somewhere. Nah, facts. <laughs> nah, facts. If you put it like that, facts. Nah, but it's true though. Parrots are a bit. No, that's what I'm saying. They scare see me. Them little small monkeys that people be having on this show. Don't scare me. What? Because they move like humans. They be out here doing things. Have you not seen the little small? He went to the dragon to pick up clothes for himself. <laughs> I could not believe you. I said, "This is what we're doing." We've we've just found a way to take over the world, but we actually don't give credit where credit is due. Like, nah. some of these animals, the way they do things, imagine speak. How it can speak, you know? Have a whole conversation. With have you. a whole Good conversation. Good morning. With you. How was your night? <laughs> <laughs> Go say the nah, same I was thing speaking with someone about him. It's just like oh, it's it's scary, you know. Nah, I bet it is. But most of them, it takes a lot of training, though. Like, no, but I feel like they stuff. just catch on. I feel like parrots catch Especially on. Especially if you've got parrots where, like, there's always someone around it. They're talking, yeah, they just always, pick up. They just pick up, like, it's not... And they say Because how can you train it? an animal to speak? You just, you're not really you, trained, you're just repeating But that's yourself. what I'm saying, but how do you go about doing it? The parrot obviously knows how to speak, bro. Mm, 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 <laughs> and it's like they're saying, they're, they're saying it properly. They're, they're pronouncing yeah, every T's yeah. and I's in the sentence. They're not missing no syllables. Man, they're speaking, the parrot's speaking Spanish, my brother. How does the parrot speak Spanish? Can I even speak Spanish? <laughs> Left English to speak Spanish. <laughs> Man, is speaking Spanish. Man, you just listen to what you're saying and it's repeating after you. Clearly, yeah. clear as day. Nah, parrots are something else. Animals are something else. I was even reading the other day. Was it a killer whale or something? Oh, where so I it's they're psychotic. These are so these are sociopaths. They literally have they they have fun in killing animals in different ways. You see, instead of going like a shark, they'll just chase a fish to kill it. They like seals. They will flip a seal in the air, so it, like by the time it hits the water, it's paralyzed. No like, way. Like they they're serial killers. That's mad. They kill their prey in a way that. Co- that it's like causes a whole leap of like harm. Fruity, they've yeah, learned to like let's say a seal was in um in like a little iceberg. Yeah, they've learned to not they've learned. They know how to like make a wave so big that it just dashes them away. Mm. They literally they'll, they'll literally just flip it, flop all these type of um, animals in the air just for the sake of doing it. They it chase now? sharks just for the sake of chasing what sharks. They harass these animals. Like, some animals are kind of like humans because you have humans that behave like that. They, they literally they're, they're the social parts of the water, bro. No, you, and you have social parts of life. It, that's what I'm saying. You have humans because now you say I'm thinking you actually have humans that behave like that. Do that. That will just cause like, excessive just, yeah, harm. Yeah, enjoy it for no reason. But I said they're gonna just paralyze. And then the seals think they're okay. Or like on, on they will the, these killer whales will come onto the shore to pick up a, a seal and go back into the water, bro. Yeah, that's mad. When I was reading, I was like, you see, if you study animals, yeah, it's so intriguing, like. We think we're the greatest species because we walk on two legs and we can speak. Mm-hmm. But these animals... They're a lot smarter than what we think. They're lo- they just don't attack us. Yeah, they're a lot But these killer ones, there was even an incident where there was like, there was like these sailors and they were literally banging into the into the ships to like, tip them over. Some of them fell into... Like, Bro, these, yeah. are these killer ones... Like, there's, and there's, a de- there's documentaries... Oh, it's, it's actually mad. When you just think, you just sit there and think like, Animals are just such greater. They just don't have like yeah, we've just been yeah, able to build yeah. all these resources and stuff that make us quote unquote the some the superior. But if we had none of this, mm. 
we would be dead in days yeah, if we had nothing, like no scary. tools, no nothing, and just us to defend for ourselves. Who's gonna fight the lion, bro? Who's gonna fight an elephant, bro? None of us. I have this fear of the unknown, and ocean scare me. We, I look like seventy-five percent or more than that of the ocean is not even discovered. Yeah. Like, can you imagine what lurks deep inside the oceans, bro? I, I assume that deep down is when we see them big. The stories about these big sharks. Big, big shark. Yeah, I, believe, like, yeah, I believe, yeah, I believe it lives down there. Like, yeah. I believe they live down there. And they've got, like, other sharks just bring them food. The what do you mean live under the sea? Like, if they create a house or under the For sea. For what? <laughs> what business? Can I, can, I, can I breathe underwater? What if something goes <laughs> wrong? No, I believe there's big shit in the ocean. And we're just here, just chilling. We haven't even discovered. When, when, when did they decide to wake and come <laughs> and take over this world? We should understand. <laughs> We shall yeah, understand. Too funny. But these, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't play. Unless, uh, unless I, if I cannot see the bottom of the, the sea, I'm in there for two seconds. If I'm yeah. in there, I'm hyperventilating. Get me out now. Get me out. And, and, and the only reason I will go in there is if there's baby people in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Because I know thing, I'm not the only all, one that's getting caught. We're all running. If anything, we're all, we're all trying to save each other. Because... <laughs> So if I don't spot it first one of you spot it by the time you stop moving I'm moving Bro, to you. I am you dashing, left behind. I'm dashing little kids in my way. <laughs> See the time we went to Croatia and I went into the water, yeah. I only went because there's little kids in there. I said there's no way I'm gonna pussy out yeah. here and there's that little river kids water. In. No 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 the when you went to Croatia oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you went the, to the, um, cave, the cave the cave yeah, yeah. and I went to the sea. The only well I the only reason I jumped in the sea is because I was little kids. I said I'm not gonna pussy out when there's little kids in the sea. There's, I'm a big grown woman to be but I also said if something is to come, I'm pushing these kids in my way. <laughs> They haven't lived. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know nothing. I, I will, in fact, I will help them. They will, they will miss out adult life. They won't have to stress. Because uh, uh, adult but life is not adult. Too. If I start seeing something swimming every man for themselves, I'm sorry. Of course. God forgive me. Of By the time, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for help at that moment in time. So Even I will why put you them. To ask for help? What? I'm really pushing people in the way. That's actually something so I can't. No, I but cannot in the do water, it. having to get through people is hard because when they start pushing you, it's like you're drowning while you're trying to. <laughs> this, nah, I can't. This reminds me of a story. Because my sister, Carolina, she's not. I don't, she's not. She she proclaims she can swim now, but I've never sw- seen her swim in my yeah, life. You say this all the so time. So I still believe she can't swim. She'll tell you otherwise, but I still believe she can't swim. Okay. But when we were younger, they always say you haven't lived life if you've never drowned at least once. Yeah, I've, I've lived life then. Cool. When we were younger, obviously we went to Portugal and that and it was my cousin me my sister and my cousins in it and we there was a there was there's a beach in Portugal what's it called I think it's Figueirinha where the like at the right time when the tides are low and little island forms in the middle of the ocean isn't it and the distance between that island to the to the main beach isn't isn't too long in it but to walk all the way around is quite long so we said we must have just swim back. Me and my cousins can swim. Yeah. Kind of was younger. She could not swim in it. So my oldest cousin, he said, okay, come on my back. And we to go. Carolina. Yeah, 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 and we go. <laughs> so we started going. And as they've started swimming, kind of starts panicking. So to save her life, she was pushing my cousin down. Oh, so she was making him jump. She was making him jump. She was literally pushing him down so she can save her own <laughs> self. She said, I am not yeah, dying. She was no, literally she pushing him down. Mm-hmm. And he when I tell you he was drowning, he was drowning. Me and my other cousin were literally trying to pull him, trying to pull him. My mum's on the other side. She sees she sees us drowning on the other side. And she runs into the water with her phone, everything in her hand. She just said, <laughs> By the time the lifeguard comes, we have already saved we're all <laughs> in the show, we're all already fine. But when we came back to the to the to the sand you wanted said, to be kind of mom said you guys are not going back into this water back on we're going home now you want to give <laughs> me a heart attack you want to give me a heart attack but like yeah, we just thought we could come man the plan was obviously we don't think about it we were young and the yeah. plan was solid when you think of something you heard especially but Kalina decided that she started panicking she just started panicking and she started panicking she said I am not dying I'm saving myself <laughs> I'm saving myself and she was literally pushing my cousin down especially oh, at that gosh. age where it's like you think of stuff, you don't actually think of the pros and cons, you just said, just, this it. sounds good. It. Because we, we us, us three could swim, yeah. and it was just her that couldn't swim. So technically, we could probably just save each other, innit? We'll yeah. get through. But it, it, did, it would even make up, we have already like, basically like a step above, yeah. um, where he had, where he had um, feet, yeah? 
she already started panicking. And yeah, that was a recipe for disaster. <laughs> he was she was literally drowning him to save herself. No, I don't even remember how when I um I drowned, I don't remember I know I was seven. All of a sudden, yeah, I think like you know when there's like the waves and stuff, I don't know where I was, but all of a sudden I was in where I was having to be all I see is Timmy Timmy and his, one of his best friends at the time just came and pulled me up because what I would not be here today <laughs> I would not be here today I was like yeah mm-hmm. never again because then times I thought oh, what is nothing in it you know you know you yeah, don't know until you drive what is uh-huh. nothing let's go what, what, what I got to lose I was just like yeah all no I've never been music. in that in a situation where I've drowned in because I've, I've known how to swim from like young um, but yeah, I, but I know my limits as well. I know the ocean is not something to play with. So I know when, when it, when I'm okay to go in and when I'm not okay to go in. But yeah, I've never been in that situation. No, just feel Is that why you've never learned to swim to this day? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm out here having fun. <laughs> no. That that thing is PTSD. No, like that thing is PTSD. And then you know what I think about it. Like even yeah, but now, you have to even but, now with like. Since my accident, I've realised with now, with cars coming towards me, I still jump a bit. Like, especially if you're coming at me at a space where I feel like there's probably yeah, enough we have space. To, we, have to think, we, have to we have to think of the point where if your time was supposed to be then, either, either it was the adrenaline situation or the car crash or no, whatever. I hear that. I hear that. Because but we listen, had a discussion before. Yeah, if the time's supposed that. to be there, the time's it's supposed to be there. there. No, no, the no, time no. wasn't there. And you no, came no. unscathed. But now, but now it's a thing where people come at me with, like, for example, where I went to. Um, for the uni thing, yeah, the drive was like, see them small roads that is like a one 60, side road. And it's 60 or, miles an hour in the tour. I have never understood how these countryside roads is, you, you can't, first of all, you can't fit two cars, but two cars can't go. And, and c- second of all, c- it's 60 c- miles an hour down this road. When I got there and I saw 50, to, I said, are you not all right? I'm just about doing 30 at the moment. And I'm thinking, I've got zoom, yeah, yeah. And then do you know what makes it worse? But those ones scare me as well, though. They sharp corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't go, because if, God forbid anything you come yeah. and I was just but thinking, those yeah. scare me as well Bro, because the my heart was beating the whole time yeah. I was but, said, those, but those were scared anyway I remember there was one time where we went to some beach and it was like countryside type stuff innit and the roads were like that and I'm like I've always said to my mum I've never understood how one country you have these hackney that's, roads that's one side of you have hackney roads yeah that you have three different lanes and you can only do 20 miles an hour you you're telling me this countryside that can only fit one, one car you can do 60 because it got to a point I was driving in the middle of the road <laughs> Because I said, I'm not going to come down for them. No, honestly. And then with them country roads, you have them sharp turns as yeah, well. Them do. little corn. I'm not thinking, nah, stop it. What is it? Nah, nah yeah, you do. But but like that. I said, if your time was then, your time was... And it's not. It's not because God wants you to live a fulfilling life. Clearly, amen. So, you have to... You have to... Because you have to enjoy. You have to enjoy everything. Because if you guys saw the way Tio was, Tio was stressing in Croatia... <laughs> You know, I don't think I've told that story because to you because I'm not yet, I'm not over it. Because of Vuta, this girl wanted to physically kill me. She wanted to kill me and I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Let's get this out. <laughs> she fell into the water. I had no place. No, I played no part in her falling, but she wanted to get mad at me. She wanted to get mad at because me. Because I won't be in that for you. I would not be falling for you. But you have to live life. For what? You have to live. You have to go, when you go away, you have to enjoy enjoyment. I was I enjoying you don't sitting well. Sitting. No, you don't enjoy it as fully. I was enjoying sitting well. How are you going to go do all these things you want to do for even like going to the water? Hmm, don't worry. Don't worry. What, what sort of things I want to do? That, I don't that, that flying work. thing in the water. That was you. No, you wouldn't. That that was I'm you. sure you said you wanted to do it as well. I know my leg. That was you. No, I'm sure you said you wanted to do it as well. I said I'm it would have been cool to do. <laughs> I didn't say I want to. There's yeah, difference. if you're going to say it would have been cool to do, it's because no, you want to do it. No, I know my lane, though. I don't push my limits. I know yeah, my you have lane. to, you have to no, enjoy life. No, and, and, yeah, and you know what kills You know what made me, like, what killed me that day? Tiwa is wearing a life jacket. You know what she said? <laughs> <laughs> so we went on them inflatables, yeah? Them aqua park, aqua park inflatable. She didn't want to go, but I just took her money and paid for it, so she had no turn on choice to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. at That's first, at first she sw- she didn't want to swim there. She had this whole time it's happening. She had a life jacket on. Tiwa had a life jacket on. I told her, big man, you are not drowning with this life jacket on. We swam there, by God's grace, we made it. She was she she, she looked happy. She's like, yeah, I accomplished something. <laughs> Then we had then there was this guy with this kid, yeah, and he's trying to go through the whole assault course with two little kids that di- he had to literally help. So, so 
<laughs> so he was still trying to help the girl on the other side and two were slid down to go to the other one. You kicked me. But <laughs> no, 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 that one. The it one when the, you fell in the water. Yeah, it was the girl. Because remember, oh, there, the was, girl kicked there were four. So when I've come down here, she had already been down. That's why yeah, I went yeah, I wouldn't yeah, have gone yeah, to yeah, yeah. her. But she didn't pick her side. So she's sitting right in the middle. <laughs> so as I've come down, she's trying to catch a balance but kicked me off. So this girl has fallen, <sighs> like, fallen into the water. She's gone underwater. Just but this whole time, just she's wearing a life jacket, so obviously she came back up. Obviously, but if this way this girl told me she pushed the button, she even said, "God, this is my time. <laughs> this is my time. <laughs> this, this is, is my time." Because uh, clearly he wants this is my time to die. I am coming to die. She she had literally made it up in her mind that that's her time. She's gonna die, bro. She came up two seconds later because she was wearing a life jacket. I could not stop laughing. I actually couldn't stop laughing. And she was trying to talk to me. Like, oh, <laughs> and then she was trying to swim back. I'm trying to say, Timo, are you all right? This girl was not answering. She was not trying to... I'm thinking, why is she mad at me? I didn't throw her in the water. Because I wouldn't have I didn't push, push her in the water. If I wasn't then... Big man, the, I didn't force you. I didn't grab you. I didn't force you. You can't right, stand... Right, that's fine. That's fine. You would, you would have just been down 20 euros. I would I'll take the L. That's okay, but why didn't you? Then? Why ah, didn't you? I didn't push you. I didn't push you. This girl will come it's tell fine. you stories and then she'll blame me. It's, it's as if I put a gun in her head. It's fine, it's Imagine. Fine. You might as well. Ah, you might as well. How? All you I said well. is come. I said all I said, come you enjoy. Well. Come enjoy. Let's enjoy the whole experience. You, might as well, huh? you said you've never you've never been an inflatable. Yeah. Exactly. So now you can say you have. No. I'm still gonna tell them I have not. No one needs to know. No one needs to know. Now you can say you have and you've gone and enjoyed. You've done it. You won't do it again, but you've done it. It's that's life. Life, you do things. You know you probably won't like, but you've done it. You can say you've done it. No one can tell you now otherwise. Funniest moment. That I'm telling you, that's the funniest moment I've ever had on holiday too. <laughs> funniest. I could not stop laughing. That we took an hour just to get around. Nah, fact. Nah, fact. This kid has been around like twenty times. Yeah, Little yeah. We saw here. we saw kids come through. <laughs> Like 20, 20 times. times i didn't i personally didn't want to go in the water because the inflatable like it makes shadows in it so it yeah, makes it bare dark like so i things. was yeah so i have that fear of obviously things underneath me so i didn't want to try to get into the water and there was one stage where you had to go jump from these two these like four or five different roles and if you miss it you're going straight in i didn't want to so we were stuck there for at least 25 minutes going back and forth some little girl tried to show us how to do it <laughs> no, no, no. oh you guys do you, you guys want help the only help you can give me is if you can pick me up and take me to the other side don't tell me about help but yeah, it took us. They said you got an hour for twenty euros. We yeah, we just went around once and went back. <laughs> Even if you told me to go around twice, I'll tell you it's fine. Keep the change. Uh huh. <laughs> the absolute change, and let me get up. Keep the change. Bro. Oh no, but see, how are you gonna go? How are we gonna go enjoy more deeds when you're gonna even wanna go to the water? Don't worry. By how? that time, God would have worked miracles. Hey. How are we gonna How are we gonna enjoy Jamaica and go to waterfalls? You don't even like water. But that time, God will work miracles. I could tell you, you come teach me. You don't want to take me seriously. Bro, I tried to. <laughs> I need to go to toilet. <laughs> I tried to teach you, Cyprus. <laughs> this girl drowned. No, I didn't. Oh, um, I'm telling that story. No, you don't need it. Yeah. Anyway. But hi. Right, so basically, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> no, I've but told, no, but wait, don't wait. don't put all the blame on me, though. Wait, you have to wait, understand where, what happened and where I'm coming from. I didn't really get mad at you. No, you didn't. You didn't. exactly you didn't. It, compared to when I got mad in, um, in Croatia. Exactly. So I didn't put no blame on you like that. But before <laughs> that, yeah, man, I'm not be asking you to teach me. Bro, you were having you were having lessons. No, you were having lessons in in Woolwich. You've just been inconsistent. But you have you been, you've so you're gonna sit here and tell me you didn't got lessons in Woolwich? How do you know? You've told me that you went to lessons what in Woolwich. So you're, so you're lying to me. I'm just asking Exactly. No, no, okay. I'm asking you. So you're lying you to answer, me. You can't answer my question with a question. Okay, what's your question? What if I was capping? I don't know if you were capping. Uh, I've never known you to be... No, no, shh. <laughs> I've never known you to be a liar. So <laughs> I've always... The last thing I'm going to expect you to, to do is lie to me. So of course I believed you. So okay, let me ask wait, you though. Wait, wait, wait. Were you lying to me? No, of course not. Exactly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I've, you have assumed lessons. Lesson. No, with the lessons, it wasn't... I was, I wasn't inconsistent because I wanted to. It wasn't like, it's different. Like, now they're bringing classes back. It's like, you have a set date. With the other one, you have to get the one with the teacher, work around the schedule, and schedules ain't mm-hmm. working. Mm-hmm. So it was one of those things that like, I wouldn't ask you if it was, like, working. Like, I have no reason not to be, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if, mm-hmm. especially, like, with, I realised, like, nighttime, swimming time is always empty. Yeah. Like, it's always empty, so I said, cool. But that's not the point. 
So we got there now. My lady said, come, let me teach you. Come, let me teach you. Oh, Lord, have no, mercy. we were doing it, and it was working out fine. And I was, I was, I was hold, I was hoping you float. It was working out perfectly fine, mm-hmm. and we were doing it for like five minutes, working out fine. I said, to, "This girl said, I right, cool. we're done now, yeah." yeah. Mm-hmm. So she started putting her legs down. So if her legs is coming down, what am I gonna do? I'm she, gonna take right, my so arm out. I wouldn't say it was fully a foot. But she thought the I'd point. got my balance. Yeah. But I hadn't. So I put one <laughs> She foot managed to just fall into the water, bruv. Head everything in. I was thinking, yep. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, she, her she legs coming down. Like, How do you point. manage? You're already she's coming, coming down. She's like, wait, why are you in the water? I said, what do you mean? <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> and I wait. didn't understand. I turned around and this girl was coming up from the water. I was thinking, wait, hold on, because the last time I left you, you were above water and get your feet down. She just didn't wait. If she the waited that extra turned, two seconds, I would have landed. Then I've probably. turned around, she's like... Oh, tough. <laughs> <laughs> get out of water. No. Come teach me. You don't want to teach me. Now you're laughing at me. <laughs> how did you do? Oh, no way. That was just too funny. I just see her trying to struggle for breath. I was thinking, how did this girl end up there? Listen, yeah, don't even get me started. I was like, okay, cool. But I wasn't even mad at you like that because it wasn't, it wasn't a thing where it was done on purpose. You just didn't know I didn't have my foot in. So I was just like... I was pissed, but it wasn't a thing where it's like, ah, oh, it's all oh your fault kind gosh. of thing. It was just like, bro. I could have stopped laughing. If you wait two funny. more seconds, I'll be fine. But, I'll oh. teach you the way. Uh, remember you we said got, this now. We, we, go, we go to Woolwich and we'll do like early sessions. Earlier, but, but the thing I'm telling you, just because I know how to swim. So you can't teach. That doesn't mean I'm going to be able to teach you. Like, I can, because you're, you're telling me yeah, what, you can't float, you can't float. Yeah, just I can get, float. Then you should be able to swim. Mm-hmm. The first step of learning to swim, it's no, 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 it's not. The yeah. first step to learning to swim is learning to float. If you learn to float, you'll never drown. I can float front and back. Then what's the problem? Why are you having an issue now? I can float front and back better. I can float, with the amount of lessons I've done, I can float front and back. Then we have to, uh, we have to just add your legs and arms. A lot easier said than that. You have to just add Because I'll be swimming right now. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Don't you dare piss me off. I'll be right now. But no, but <laughs> on on all seriousness, no, we have to make it a thing where we teach our children how 100%. to swim. I feel like being able to swim. Months, you, you could put your kids in. I'm dashing in the water for free. You best come and start. <laughs> but for no, free. but honestly, I feel like no, swimming facts. is definitely. I'm even like trying to get my little brother to go back into it because I'm telling him like just go swimming lessons. Like especially now, I can get it for you where you wouldn't even go yeah, swimming yeah, lessons. Yeah, I need to get my sister into that like, as well because yeah, she started and she's and she's good in the water. She's not scared of water. No, she was, I mean, school, school gives you, but it only gives you like come, a year. It'll be free. I'll, I'll put it to it'll Woolwich with time and stuff, but... It'll be free. I'll just, put it to, to I'll just told the teacher that, bro, this sister's coming in, she's not going to be married, so cool, 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 whatever. No, yeah, I'm yeah. going to put it there, because it, it's a skill that... Yeah. It's a life skill. Like, it's not not in a sense where we're going to be putting it out, but it's yeah. like, you never... God you forbid, never you never know what situation yeah, you're on holidays, you can't And you can enjoy. Yeah. Even, we I'm have people, tra- grown men, grown women, only dipping their, <laughs> their toes. toes. Oh. Just for pictures. Oh, come on, that's not enjoyment. Just pictures. But cool, we, already, we know what we said. April, yeah, cool, cool, cool. September, we're going we're gonna to get you. We're going to get you soon. Forget September, 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 done. October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven, seven months. months. Right, that's more than enough time. Bit. We're going to miss a whole month, but bet. That's more than enough time. So six months. Even two, you can learn. You can learn in two. If you're cons- if you're consistent enough, you yeah, can learn yeah, in two. I have no reason not to be consistent. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You work at a place that gives you lessons. <laughs> this is what I've never understood. You just said we're ending the episode. No. <laughs> I think you've had enough of at me today. Like, but this is what I've never what understood. She works at a place that actually so, gives lessons. You can just quickly go after you finish working. It's a lot easier said than done. But if you really want to, you would make it work. I used to. Top laser. I used to. Anyway. What have you seen this w- this week in terms of God that has stood out to you, that has moved you, that has played a part in getting this week done or last week or whatever? Any motivational <laughs> thing that has, you know, really uplifted you up a little bit and got I you going? Have, I haven't. I've seen a confession and it was, as I speak and confess the word of God, he renews my strength daily. I am born of God and therefore have the strength to overcome sin and temptation. Mm-hmm. I declare that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens mm-hmm. me. Amen. 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 So that's what, what we've seen. seen. So why 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 did that stand up for you? Let's let's get into it. Even though I don't have time, but Chelsea's not gonna find me, so <laughs> <laughs> So let's get into it. Why why did that stand up to you? Did I wouldn't say it didn't stand up, but it didn't at the same time. It was fifty fifty that one because it just it had something I go by every day in there and then it was more of 
it was just confession. It was a church confession for the month of September, mm -hmm. and I just thought, yeah, it just had something I go by daily, and it's just like, yeah, like, and then the scene of temptation, like with God with me, like I can avoid that kind of thing, that like, yeah. scene of temptation, and just go in the right path. I respect it. I respect it. And you, what have you seen? Stood so, out, um, motivated you. So one thing that you. motivated me this this month, th this week actually. I was just, there was just, I was watching, I forgot what I was watching, but it just gave me a little motivation to go to gym. So that's <laughs> something that motivated okay. me this year. I mean, in terms of God, though, it's just, I've just, um, the scripture that I, one of the scriptures that I I, I stand for um, just popped up again. And it just obviously just renewed that little fire in your heart. And it? it's just Isaiah 41, mm. 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold yes. you with my righteous righteousness right hand and that just speaks to that the god as as a whole the most powerful most um loving god you know mm -hmm. he's always there to uplift you no matter what and sometimes mm -hmm. you have to be reminded of the situations yeah. um we get to be complacent we we get comfortable in our small situations but not to realize that god actually has even better and greater things for us mm -hmm. but because we're so comfortable in in life's reality and what life is ex what is accepted in this normal life of ours that we don't even understand the powers that are possessed within us and what we can achieve so just be reminded that i have someone who's greater than myself and who can give me more than i can even fat like begin to to understand is is great and i just try yeah. and get go through that path and just before i die I do everything i need to do in it because we're speaking about it now, I was speaking to you, some guy just randomly asked, he was just asking about tight and then looked at the one on my leg because I got Philippines 4.13 mm -hmm. and then he was like, what does it say? So I said it and then he was like, I think he quoted the Bible version and was like, what is that? I was like, I don't know. I was like, am I meant to know? He was like, yeah. I was like, why? He was like, because then that shows if you're a Christian. I said, wait, excuse me. What, knowing Bible verses? Yeah. I said, wait, excuse me. I said, the way everyone takes things or the way people grow and learn is different. It's different. You can't tell everyone's me because I stages, don't know Bible yeah. verse, you know. Or I don't know more than you know. Does, it does, doesn't mean like obviously respectfully, without no judgment, it'd be the ones. Sometimes it'd be the ones who know the whole Bible that are the most hypocrites. Yeah, and I was like, just like, it's 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 a journey in itself. This is why I never understood this idea of, like, I've never been the type of person to to judge anyone in the journey because the journey I've had has been ups and downs, yeah, and I've been never been. Yeah. I will never claim to be the most perfect person or claim to have my 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 relationship with God, God being, being the, the best, most. Yeah most yeah. faithful most sainful one because it's my relationship at the end of the day god knows my heart and everything mm. um i'm a sinner like everyone yeah, else yeah. but to, but it's just the idea and it's always these certain and groups I was just that like, i was like just because i don't know the thing i was just like okay randomly that's it it's like me doing this i said i read a prayer point every morning that set like different prayer points so i haven't touched the bible much i said then oh then you exactly. can't really. Everyone, exactly. I feel like that statement you made is a strong statement. It was like obviously we tracked it after a while, but it was like, oh, it's just like because apparently there's some Bible verses as Christian we should just know. And I was like, some people are not. That well, I can tell you, like the the the, the thing about but the Bible is very long. It's very big and there's a lot of scripture yeah, in it. Yeah. I can literally tell you the Bible says God loves you, and it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I can tell you the Bible says love thy neighbor as you want to be. I can tell you like. I just be, can't tell be you. Be courageous and John everything. Oh, please, I beg. Now you're asking for a lot. Ah, guys, <laughs> thank you note. for tuning in. Um, so the riddle of this week, just to remind you guys, it is, um, I'm a, I lied. You walk into a room. What do you do first? Something, something match. Why can't I find it? I definitely uh, there's fire. There. <laughs> Go on, say my riddle then. If you get it. You get you get food. Um. Okay. So there's a so there's a room. I you walk into a room. I'm still looking for There's there's a, there's a match. There's a fireplace. There's us aerosol. There's and there's a candle. There's a what? Is it aerosol? Kerosene. There's 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 um pet petrol, <laughs> and then there's. <laughs> And there's a she candle. There's what do I like first? You already know what to do. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's it. What is it then? That's what it is. said it, but in the wrong order. But it's the same thing. Yeah. What do I like first, guys? Um, are you going to say it or are we going to leave it at that? Thank you for tuning in. It's been your host with the most, me, and Sophia. And yours too. Love and guidance. We are. This girl really said petrol.